We've seen in these two games what the best players in the world do, um, and that's what we've got to aspire to. Um, we've just had a pretty good chat there now. Um, the beauty about it is that we've got four months now without any cricket, and it's four months that we're going to have to get the heads down and work hard, um, and we're going to have to aspire to be at somewhere near this level because quite evidently over the last two games there's been a, a gulf in the class of the two teams um, and whilst we're missing some players, some key players, you know that's what we've all got to aspire to um, and I think everyone's genuinely pretty excited about this this four months and and getting into the nets or getting into the gym and working hard and, and putting things right. Um, you know we've spoken quite, or William and John have spoken quite a bit about the, the exciting young talent that we've got, but there obviously has to come a time where um, the talent turns into performances. Um, and I think there's no doubt that we've that we've all got it in us, but as I said, over these two games, it, it hasn't hasn't quite worked out. Of course, it's not just the two games, like it sums up the whole summer, like the games against Sri Lanka and Pakistan, it's just a carry on from them. All, all the full members have been well beaten by just yeah, I think that's probably a, a fair assessment. Um, but the, the guys coming into the side don't, haven't had the luxury of playing a huge amount of cricket at the top level. And when I mean the top level, I'm, I'm not necessarily talking about the likes of Australia and South Africa. I'm talking about games of cricket that perhaps we had seven or eight years ago. Um, against the associated nations there, there, there isn't as much of that cricket now so guys are being thrown in at the deep end and um, and it's not just the younger guys you know the more experienced guys haven't done, really done it either but we've got now as I said we've got four months to we've seen what David Warner and Ozan Khawaja and Quentin the Cock do whenever they go out to bat or the, the lads do whenever they're bowling you know we've seen even South Africa and Australia both had new caps there um, with the ball and the transition has been seamless for them because they're used to playing at such a high level anyway, um, and they've come in and and you know they do what they they do, which is which is good enough for this level. At the minute, um, we haven't quite put up a good enough fight. I don't want to pick Chase around in particular, like because obviously he's coming through, but you know that's three games now. He's considered over two hundred runs his last three ODIs. Like is he is he strong enough to come back? And he is that the yeah, without doubt. Look, I've seen. S- <laughs> I know his figures today and last game aren't amazing, but I think if I don't know the exact figures, but if you took his opening spell against South Africa, would it be right in saying five overs for a round twenty? But okay, but he bowled a very good opening yeah. spell against Quinton de Kock and Temba Bavuma against South Africa, um, and for me that was he's just got to through that experience he's going to be better for it. Um, I keep going back to now. We've just got four months to put things right, and they'll be they'll be in the, in the nets at North County or or wherever it is. Hopefully, we'll get a couple of, of pre-season tours somewhere, um, and it, it might be something as simple as putting a a box on top of off stump and saying run up and hit that six times, um, because I think the, whilst there, there's excitement there, the consistency probably isn't there, and that's not just Peter Chase I'm talking about. That's the whole bowling group. Um, and and it goes to the batting group as well. You know we're going to have to f- get on the bowling machine, face it at ninety miles an hour at our heads maybe, and and work at being able to hit that for four or six, not just getting out of the way of it, or rotating strike a little bit better, getting ones off their good balls because that's what they do. That's what South Africa, that's what Australia do. They get ones off our good balls and then they they make sure our bad balls go for four. Obviously, at the end of these four months, you've got Afghanistan cubes and then match series, and yeah. three formats. Um, it is, yeah. Look, we've got to be looking at that Afghanistan series. We've got to be going over there looking to win every game. It's as simple as that. We've, They are around our level in international career at the minute. So this is as hard as it gets. Like, Make no mistake, Like, it's coming to South Africa. We've never, we've, it's the first time we've ever been invited to a full member nation, bar Zimbabwe, um, to play against one day international teams in their own backyard. Um, so it's it's a huge experience for us, um, and whilst we're not just happy to take that experience and, and turn up here and get beaten like we have been, but with the work, hopefully everyone's going to do, um, 
we've got to be confident of going to India next year and taking down Bangladesh or taking down Afghanistan. Big. Absolutely. Ask it. Still back in the coach still. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. In some ways. In the dressing room. In yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. And in cricket Ireland, one hundred percent. Sorry, Tom. Do you learn more from these sort of games than you do dominating in the beginning of the associated teams? Yeah, definitely, because you run up with the greatest respect to the teams at our level um, in associate cricket. You know, an away swing in half volley at 82, 83 miles an hour might nick some players off. David Warner's hitting it for four. Like, so that's where it comes down to the honesty. Um, and that's what I'm saying. Get a, get a, might be as simple as get a box on top of off stump and run up and try and hit that six times. And if opposition players are scoring off your good balls, then you know you got to sometimes hold your hands up, and, and then you got to go to variation and things like that. But at the minute, we're bowling too many bad balls, and with the bat, we were around where we'd want to be after 30 overs, 32 overs, 33 overs, whatever. But we've just lost too many wickets, so that's probably coming down to we've had to take chances off more good balls, trying to look to hit them for four whenever we should be hitting, making sure we get boundaries or sixes off of, off their very bad balls and then looking to take ones off their good balls. But unfortunately, the skill level hasn't been there in this game. And that's obviously credit to South Africa and Australia. They've bowled very well. I guess the intensity level too is that teams like that will never give you an easy, they never take your foot off the throat at any stage, are they? No, they don't. But that, like, like you say, that's what you want. Like we want to be tested. We've been crying out for games like this for the last 10 years, and now we're getting them. Um, and it obviously, we've got to learn on our feet. We've got to try and learn as quickly as we can. Just finally, on a personal level, looking forward to getting back into county cricket next year with your, your new county? Yeah, um, exciting period, yeah, definitely. Uh, I needed the fresh start. You know, things had gone, not gone my way this year at Surrey, and um, I th I've been on record already saying thanks to them. and for letting me go out a year left in my contract and obviously Derbyshire showed some interest. Um I did I had a couple of options but um it was I would spoken to the captain there and stuff and and the background staff and um they've said the right things and I'm looking forward to getting started.